We are getting closer to the launch of Hogwarts Legacy, which means that more details are being shared by Avalanche and Warner, this time including background info on some important characters that will play a big part in the story, new professors, important takeaways from the recent cinematic trailer, and way more. So let's cover all the new info in this video. If you are excited for Hogwarts Legacy and enjoy the content here on the channel, then leave a like to help us out, subscribe for way more videos on the game, and let's go. And by the way, we are doing a giveaway for the Digital Deluxe edition of Hogwarts Legacy for a platform of your choice. There's a link in the pinned comment if you want to participate and remember that you have to be a subscriber of the channel to enter. We'll reach out to the winner before launch, best of luck. So let's first go over some key details from that new cinematic trailer as it does give us a name for the ice spell we've known is in the game for a long time. According to the subtitles the spell being cast here is glacial which leaves me a little bit confused because when you listen it sounds more like glacius to me. Which is actually what we speculate that the spell would be called in our video going over all spells we know are in the game. Link to that will also be in the description. Back to the trailer as the story being told in this cinematic is actually pretty interesting. We see a letter, our Hogwarts admission letter as we later discover, being attached to an owl with the specific instruction to find them. Which again refers to the player character. And then during the first shots of Hogwarts we see a lot of students coming up to Professor Weasley clearly concerned about something with her answering that we don't know what magic caused this. So while that's not a lot to go off, we do know the following things. 1. An unknown magic caused something to happen that has Hogwarts in an uproar. 2. A professor at Hogwarts sends a letter to someone as a response to this event. And 3. That letter is our ticket to Hogwarts. So really curious what this important event is that I think starts the story off. Maybe it's something we did by accident while awakening to our ancient magic powers. We also see some enemies appear in the trailer including giant spiders and a group of poachers that start firing killing curses at this poor owl. Which actually raises an interesting question because we know how powerful Avada Kedavra is going to be in our hands as we can insta kill any enemy regardless of their health pool in one shot. But will our enemies also be able to use this spell and will it be equally as dangerous in their hands? Not sure how fun a one shot mechanic will be in combat but if the spell is kept accurate to the lore that's pretty much the only way it could function. And speaking of dangerous, before the owl delivers the letter to our character, we see it quickly flying by a dragon. Which looks to be the same type of dragon we've seen in multiple of the trailers already. Credits to Poppy and Clem on Reddit for figuring this out, but this looks to be a Hebridean black, with its most distinguishable feature being the horns that curve towards the front of its mouth and its dark scales. Although you definitely want to watch out for its flames too, as we see it breathing fire here, and the voice actress for the game's female protagonist actually confirmed that this is one of the ways you can die in the game. In her Instagram post she notes, get yourself a copy if you'd like to hear me getting fried by a dragon or falling off my broom to my inevitable death. So yeah, death by dragon fire is a thing, but what is even more interesting to me is that you can apparently fall off your broom from great heights. I wonder if this is just during practice or that running out of the stamina bar for flying at great altitudes will cause you to fall, but either way that's a fate I'm hoping to avoid. On the note of traversal, it was also confirmed a while back that there will be a dedicated jump button for the game too. And while considering the height of the jump I wouldn't expect any platforming or wizard parkour, it should help us cross some obstacles and navigate the open world better, which is great to see. Now like I mentioned in the intro, we also got some bigger news recently concerning some important story characters. We already mentioned some of the major character reveals we got recently in a previous video, which I will link to in the video description, but we now have even more info on a new character called George Osric. We already saw him riding a flying carriage with us and Professor Fig, and his bio lists him as a high-ranking Ministry of Magic official. And at this point, I've kind of lost count of how many of our professors are actually tied to the Ministry of Magic. Our Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher used to work there, our personal mentor Matilda Weasley used to work there, and now we got Professor Fig, who is working with them as well, and we also got more info on him that I'll go over in a bit. So at one point, I imagined we'd have to go and visit the Ministry itself, with so many plot threads leading us back there. Another interesting detail from Osric's backstory is the fact that he's been friends with Professor Fig and his wife Miriam. Miriam Fig actually enlisted George's help in solving a seemingly indecipherable puzzle she uncovered just before she died. The bio then notes that he will need the player's help to pick up where Miriam left off. So to me this sounds like a pretty serious side quest where we help a ministry official make sense of a mysterious puzzle that potentially ended up getting someone killed. Maybe our ancient magic is the key 
to solving this puzzle, but either way, for a student, we sure are getting involved in a lot of adult problems. And that includes helping out investigating claims of a goblin rebellion with Professor Elizer Vig. We've known since the first state of play that he'd be an important character to our journey, but now we finally have some information on the man himself. For starters, he teaches magical theory, which refers to the study of the nature of magic, such as studying how spells exactly worked. Which of course logically leads you to ancient magic at one point, and that's exactly what his wife Miriam was researching before she died. Fig had left her by that point to go and teach at Hogwarts, but now he is determined to understand why and how she died and to finish her work. He's also noted as one of our greatest allies, so I think that him and Professor Weasley will definitely spend a lot of time with us. I'm also very curious about how the backstories for these two characters are lining up. Is the puzzle Miriam left to George part of the reason why she was killed? And does that mean that it is tied to ancient magic somehow? And how does the Goblin Rebellion we know will be a major part of the story play into it all? I think it's a good thing we have all these questions, as an intriguing story is of course very important for an RPG, I just hope the answers to these questions will be just as satisfying. Although it is of course completely possible for us to get swept up in all the side content like learning new spells, exploring ancient ruins or finding and rescuing magical creatures. And while we know that last part is going to be important for upgrading our gear, it will actually be even more expansive than that because we know we'll also be able to breed creatures and create offspring. Which is something we can see in the description for the breeding pen which was shown during one of the gameplay showcases. We've already had a look at a baby grab horn and a Thestral, but another baby creature we've spotted that is not confirmed for the Vivarium yet is a Snidget. And yes, like the name suggests, these little golden birds are related to the Golden Snitch, as before that was invented, live Snidgets were used in games of Quidditch until they became a protected species. And the reason why I'm speculating we get to see these in our Vivarium is, well, because we see a nest of them in the state of play with Poppy. I'm assuming they need to be kept safe, as protecting magical creatures is kind of Poppy's thing, so I feel like our hidden Vivarium in the Room of Requirement is a pretty good place to do so. And Poppy's not the only one who'll teach us more about the magical creatures that will come across as we also finally learn the identity of our teacher in Beasts. Her name is Bai Hao Win and like Professor Garlic, she is a Hufflepuff. Her wiki page notes that she loads poachers, so I assume she'll be very happy when we free magical creatures from this faction as we already know these hunters that seek to exploit beasts are going to be in the game. Maybe she'll even offer us some sort of reward if we manage to clear out all of them. Another professor we finally know the name of is our broom flying instructor Chiyo Kogawa, who we did catch a glimpse of in one of the trailers. This Slytherin didn't study at Hogwarts originally, but was asked to come to the school by Matilda Weasley after they met due to Chiyo's work for the Japanese Mystery of Magic. It's noted that she's pretty strict on the rules with any foul sportsmanship on a student's part will have them banned from the pitch quicker than you can say Quidditch. When we learn more about the game, we will of course let you know here, so subscribe if you don't want to miss our next Hogwarts video, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and you can watch our previous video on more good news we got about the game by clicking on the screen. I will see you in the next one, goodbye.